Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Reading Rainbow. My name is Randall Fields, and I'm your host. And today we're going to be reading Way Too Many Latkes. Way Too Many Latkes, a Hanukkah in Chelm by Linda Glasser and Alexander Zolotik. Feigl makes the best Hanukkah latkes in Chelm, but somehow this year she's forgotten how to make them. In Chelm, the village of fools, Feigl makes the best latkes, but every Hanukkah she only makes a tiny batch. If you're lucky, she serves you one little latka and you dream about it for the rest of the year. Except for one year where everything went awry. It was the first night of Hanukkah. I, I don't remember my latka recipe, cried Feigl. How uh, will I make potato latkes? Well, you always use potatoes, her husband Schmel remembered. But how many, she wailed. Was it three or maybe four? I'll go ask the rabbi, said Schmel. The rabbi, cried Feigl. What does he know about making latkes, bupkis, nothing? But he's the wisest man in Chelm, said Schmel. He knows more than you think. Well, maybe you're right, said Feigl. Quick, go ask. Schmel ran to the rabbi's house in two flicks of a goat's tail. Rabbi, help! Feigl can't remember her latka recipe. How many potatoes should she use? The rabbi's stomach gurgled. He hadn't eaten much all day. Tell her to use them all. Schmel scratched his head. Are you sure? Are these my feet? The rabbi pointed. Of course, said Schmel. Are you sure? asked the rabbi. Sure, I'm sure, said Schmel. Well, said the rabbi, I'm just as sure about the potatoes. On the Hanukkah, that's what potatoes are for. You are so wise, said Schmel, and rushed home. The rabbi says to use them all, he said to Feigl. All of them? Is he sure? asked Feigl. Are these the rabbi's feet? Schmel pointed. What? cried Feigl. Schmel, where's your head? Right here, he tapped it. Don't ask silly questions. Let's just do what the rabbi says. So Feigl grated all the potatoes down to the very last one. Then she clutched her head. Oi! With all these potatoes, how many eggs should I use? I'll go ask the rabbi, said Schmel. He raced over in two snaps of a chicken's beak. Rabbi, help! How many eggs should Feigl use for the latkes? The rabbi thought for a moment. His stomach rumbled. Use all the eggs you've got. Schmel scratched his head. Are you sure? Is this my nose? The rabbi pointed to his nose. Of course, said Schmel. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Well, I'm just as sure about the eggs on Hanukkah. That's what eggs are for. So Schmel ran back home. Use all our eggs. What? cried Feigl. Is he sure? Is this the rabbi's nose? Schmel pointed to his nose. What? Have you lost your head? Schmel felt it. No, it's right here. Let's start cracking eggs. 
So Feigl cracked all the eggs down to the very last one. Done! Then she groaned. Oi! But how many onions should I use? I'll find out. Schmel ran to the rabbi's house and two flicks of a mule's ear. Onions? The rabbi tugged his beard. His stomach grumbled. Use all the onions you've got. Schmel's eyes bulged. Are you sure? Is this my head? The rabbi pointed. Of course, exclaimed Schmel. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Well, I'm just as sure about the onions on Hanukkah. That's what onions are for. Schmel ran home. The rabbi says, use them all. Oh my goodness, Feigl threw her hands in the air. Is he sure? Is this the rabbi's head? Schmel pointed to his own head. What? cried Feigl. My husband doesn't even know his own head anymore. What's next? Onions, exclaimed Schmel. Don't you remember? Let's start chopping. So Feigl started chopping. She chopped and chopped. Then she fried up the latkes, up to her elbows, up to her armpits, up to her earlobes, and each latka was a crispy golden masterpiece. Done! She wiped her hands on her apron. Then she held her head. Oi! We have too many latkes. If we eat all these latkes, we'll get belly aches up to our eyeballs. Smell nodded. I'll go ask the rabbi what to do. He raced in two shakes of a cow's tail. Help, rabbi. We have way too many latkes. No, the rabbi shook his head. There is no such thing as too many latkes. He held up his finger like a true sage. Just not enough mouths. Very wise, nodded Schmel. But Feigl and I have only one mouth each. Ah, the rabbi's stomach growled loudly. Don't worry. I can help. I'll come to your house and I'll bring my mouth with me. But when they got to the house, the rabbi shook his head. I can't eat all of these latkes. Not even if I stuffed my mouth from now until the last night of Hanukkah. Oi, moaned Feigl. What will we do with all these latkes? The rabbi stroked his beard. There's only one answer. We need more mouths. More mouths? Schmel felt around his face for more mouths. The rabbi shook a finger at him. Not our mouths. Go. Invite the whole village. Quick, while the latkes are still hot. Tell everyone to bring one mouth each. On Hanukkah, that's what mouths are for. And so Schmel did. The whole village rushed over to help solve the problem of too many latkes. And oi, did they help. On Hanukkah, that's what a village is for. There were just enough mouths and just enough latkes down to the very last one. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Do you think it was funny? <laughs> I thought it was funny. I was reading and I, I just, I was trying to hold my laugh. <laughs> now I can laugh.
<laughs> okay. But um, yeah, like and subscribe. See you guys.